welcome to today's video. If this is your first time stopping by this channel, hi and welcome. My name is Addie and you joined us on a really great day because this is video number one in Clean with Addie spring cleaning series. Spring cleaning for me really kind of just represents um, clearing out the winter. I think that winter is that time of hibernation. You spend a lot of time indoors because of course it's cold and you keep your windows closed up so uh, the beginning of spring sort of signifies like opening the windows clearing out the winter getting rid of the stale air cleaning off all the dust that has accumulated from just running the fireplace or the heater or just being inside the house a lot and really giving your house just this huge scrub down and getting ready for just the new life. Spring brings with it this beautiful, beautiful energy that I am so ready for. I was never a huge neat freak or anything like that. So spring cleaning for me has sort of evolved over the years. Um, this is probably, the, this is probably the second year now that I'm gonna be really, really thorough about the things that I do for spring cleaning because it was never a big deal before. But you know, now that I feel like I've gotten older, I take a lot of pride in my house and in keeping it clean and you know, it's really just making sure that everybody doesn't get sick. We've had several colds flow throughout our house this winter season, so really it's all about getting all the yucky germs from winter and everything else out. Sometimes spring cleaning can seem like this daunting task, this task or where you feel like oh my gosh there's so much to do or it's gonna take forever but in my opinion if you keep up with just like simple daily tasks in spring cleaning it really isn't that bad I saw this really cool idea on at home with Nikki and she always pulls out this spring cleaning box that is just loaded with a ton of different tasks and chores and it sits out in her home during like the month or two of spring cleaning and every day everyone just kind of pulls something out I think that's a perfect way to get the kids involved my kids will definitely be involved in doing some spring cleaning and then it's just kind of like one task at a time so maybe you know on one Saturday you're gonna take care of all the windows in the house or maybe on a Sunday you're gonna go and do all of the baseboards or all of the linens and vacuum and really kind of deep clean all of the mattresses and things like that so um, breaking it down into small reasonable steps is a really cool way to kind of get a handle on your spring cleaning so that it doesn't feel like this huge huge place of overwhelm bedroom and the reason why is just because this is my space the entire house is mine but the master bedroom is my space this is the space where we come back to retreat and to just feel really comfortable I've told you guys before over and over I feel like a master bedroom should represent like a hotel for some reason I really love going to stay at hotels they're always nice the beds are made the decor is nice and they have this feel that sort of makes you feel good and so when I'm done doing all that I've had to do all day to take care of everybody else I feel like when I step back into my suite I want it to look and feel and smell really good so I think that starting here is really foundational for me so I'm gonna be going through almost my whole house just tackling those areas that need a really good thorough and deep cleaning and I'm gonna take you guys along with me some of the things that I'm gonna be tackling in the master today for spring cleaning are the baseboards down off in the little cracks and crevices of our slider door we don't have a window in our bedroom but we do have a slider door we have dogs and our backyard kind of has a ton of dirt so we get a lot of dirt particles and rocks and stuff that gets stuck in the slider door and that's not something that i clean out on a regular basis so i'll be going in to take care of that of course a really good vacuum i'm going to be wiping down the walls changing out the linens, dusting the things that don't typically get dusted on a regular basis. I'm also going to be decluttering inside of my closet and doing a really big purge there. That's actually going to be in the next video for number two. I'm also going to be going through and just clearing out any spider webs um, or any critters that might be stuck to the ceilings or in the corners of the walls and things like that.
for this video you guys i hope that you found a little bit of motivation or encouragement to get your master bedroom deep cleaned for spring cleaning in the next video we are going to be hopping into decluttering and organizing your master bedroom closet i've been toying around with the idea of possibly doing a capsule wardrobe for the spring and i went through and did a huge declutter and deep clean on my closet and got rid of a ton of stuff i'm excited to share that with you guys in the next video if this is your first time stopping by this channel welcome my name is Addie. feel free to take a look around at any of our other videos and if you like what you see i would love to welcome you to our growing fam don't forget everybody to turn on the bell so that you get notifications of any posts and future videos don't forget to head over to follow us on instagram i will be doing some daily cleaning motivation over there every single day on instagram stories during this cleaning series so i would love to chat with you over there as well if you're on instagram we are at official growing with the greens thank you guys and i will see you in video number two of the spring cleaning series Bye guys. Down. Love and lust. Down. All of us. Give me a run for my money. There is no money.